Hello, this is Trevor from Adreno Brisbane, and today we're just going to go through the simplest method to rig a breakaway setup. So, the simplest way to do it is just with a simple muzzle bungee and your mono. Now, there's a hundred million different ways to do this. Everyone you talk to will have their own little slight variations, but this is just the cheapest, easiest way, and I personally find strongest because you're getting rid of a lot of extra moving bits and extra connections in the line that you don't really need. Okay, so the parts you'll need to do this are a muzzle bungee, a pair of crimping pliers, some standard crimps, and then just your rig line and monofilament. Once you've got your mono to your desired length, which is simply a wrap and a half, so around the front of the gun, back to your line release, loop it over your line release, back up to the front, around your line guide or hook line or whatever it is you have at the front of your gun to hold it for that second line wrap, and then back down. Once you've got it back down, you want it to be an equal distance away from your line release so that when your muzzle bungee is on there, it is pulling a fair amount of resistance, which keeps your monofilament on your gun. To put your muzzle bungee on, fairly simple, rig it back through itself so it goes through the loop, then it will come back around and through itself again. This way there is no knots, nowhere for it to slip, nothing for it to break. It is purely looped back over on itself, so it's very difficult for that to have any form of distress to break it, snap it, or even cause you to ruin your whole day and not have your rig working and lose your fish. Once you've got that all hooked together, the other end of the muzzle bungee under tension goes onto your line release. So that continues your mono, holding it on and making sure your shaft and your mono doesn't fall off. So once that's all connected, it's then all held in position, your mono is sitting nice and tight underneath, your shaft can't come off because it's under pressure, and this won't want to pull off your gun because it's under a fair bit of resistance from the stretchiness of the rubber. Now, with your rig line, the safest way to do it is to connect it through your mono loop. That way, your clip is going directly onto your shooting line. There is nothing then getting between this and that. If you hooked your rig line onto your muzzle bungee instead, you're putting a possible point of breakage in your rig. So this bit of rubber here and that bit of cord can now break, disconnecting your spear from your rig. So it's a lot safer to connect that directly to your mono. Now what some people will do is use a slightly different clip. This is just for effect for this video, but this is quite an oversized clip for this job. I personally would undo a D-shackle like that and put that D-shackle through that mono that way you're then removing a whole nother section that could cause you trouble. When you're usually using breakaways, it's on very large fish that fight very hard. So the last thing you want is any weak points in your setup. Once that's all set up, it's essentially how it's going to work. As Soon as you fire, that muzzle bungee is going to release instantaneously because it's under pressure and move away from your gun. This will reduce the chance of getting muzzle wraps. Your spear is going to come out of the gun I certainly hope so. And then once that spear is moving, it will no longer be connected in any way to your gun. Uh, biggest thing when using a breakaway, if you haven't used one before, remember, hold on to your gun as it's no longer connected to anything. And if you let go, it will just sink away and disappear forever. And that's that. Pretty much the easiest, simplest way of setting up a breakaway system. Doesn't cost you an arm and a leg. Mostly parts you have at home. And that way you can get out there and enjoy some blue water hunting and chasing some bigger fish. Oh well, thanks for watching. Hope we'll catch you next time.